Hello Aries, this is Victoria from Mindful Twin Flame and this is your reading with 2024 predictions. We're going to take a look at what's coming up for you, what can we know, what are we supposed to know uh, about your love life, about your mission and career, and also we'll get some general advice and guidance on what to pay attention to and what to do to attract um, your highest, most ascended timelines. Okay, let's start with an occult card as always. And today I'm using my uh, Angels and Ancestors deck. So let's see what we have in stock for Aries watching. This reading is for Sun, Moon, and Ascendant. So I suggest that you check readings. If this is a reading that you're watching for a Sun sign, then also find out what your Moon and Ascendant are and watch readings for those as well. Of course, this is a general reading, so take only what resonates for you. Wow, for your oracle message, you have Earth Mother, feel loved and comforted. So it's like an equivalent of a of an Empress card in tarot. Let's see, I haven't gotten this card yet, so I'm gonna go and read the extended message. Um, you may have felt overwhelmed or out of control emotionally recently. But you're now moving back to your natural center and will bring you and that will bring you to a place of clarity and openness. If you have felt ungrounded, know that Earth Mother is here to reach you and help you regain your sense of strength. You may not feel like a child, but in the eyes of the divine, you are a child of light and it's important you know that and feel loved. If you have had challenges with your mother or with being a mother yourself, Know that the energies of mother healing are with you to help clear any ancestral blockages that are preventing you from making this sacred love connection. You are being guided to make choices that are based on love. Beautiful, beautiful feminine energy. I'm always happy when I see or I get downloads about mother wound healing because it's such a big topic for both genders, for any culture, you know, it's such a universal thing. That's super important in the spiritual life and of any kind of level. <laughs> so for a love life, you have the Hermit, could be dealing with a Virgo, Two of Wands, and Eight of Swords. None of these are really about partnerships, so this happens sometimes, and I'll speak about it in a second. For your career, you have Seven of Cups. Lots of choices. You have Justice. Could be dealing with a Libra. And you have Queen of Pentacles. This is you. This is that uh, practical application of the Empress energy, right? This is Empress on her work day. <laughs> and the advice, Eight of Wands. Five of Wands and Eight of Pentacles. I like the Eights. They're all about taking action, about moving forward. You have the star at the bottom of the deck, Aquarian energy of hope and vision, like a visionary, you know, you like you see the vast perspective, right? The road map, right? Like the big strokes, um, which of course also has its pros and cons, right? Because uh, it's great for motivation, for enthusiasm, for seeing why, um, you know, yeah, really why. But uh, when it comes to practical application, you still need to zoom in and get into details, right? And plan out some specific steps. Okay, so for your personal space, I'm going to say, right? Because it is the love space, but what I'm seeing is a lot of internal process, very much an individual process here to make in different choices, going from self-sabotage because your brain is playing tricks on you or because it's trying to protect you from repeating the history of getting hurt or being let down to uh, the space where you trust your inner voice so much that you don't even get to this point, right? You get the download from the divine and you act on it and you make a choice. Uh, without overthinking, without spending too much time 
and essentially not make not moving anywhere right that's one of the big meanings of eight of swords right that this person cannot move and they don't have progress because they are trapped in this space in this mind space so there will be a lot of opportunities for you to be able to consider both options in your situation or the more you're going to be experimenting and applying the approach with following with your gut feel with your intuition um with what prayer and meditation will give you the more you're going to see how beneficial that approach is over what the logic or your thoughts would have told you or even somebody else's opinion even if that person was a subject matter expert now let's see what we have for your career yeah so there will be a lot of temptations a lot of opportunities um you may have to solve some legal issues on the way that could be like actually like, i don't know starting a company or maybe getting a better option with um i don't know getting a loan with a lower percentage or some financing or uh, like something along those lines, right? So those things may come up. Uh, but essentially, there's so much going on and so much you want to achieve in your career space that you may get kind of lost and confused in all the things and all the ideas and all the different people that want to be part of it, right? So it's going to be important to have that grounded energy right and practical energy with this queen of pentacles it's helping establish um specific goals uh specific means of getting there specific plan of attack so to speak right um so we don't have to conquer the world in one step right we can break it down slice it up right and have intermediate goals that will be achievable or at least one goal that Maybe there is a low hanging fruit that you can achieve right away. And that's already a big step because every time you take one more step in the right direction, the universe will show you more of what's coming up next or what choices you have on that next level. You know, if you think about a game equivalency where on each level, as you proceed to the next round, um, you get new opportunities, new challenges, like new information in general right um so that's the order of things essentially so even if you just know one step and you know that there's probably going to be a hundred that you'll need to take for your big and beautiful goal it's still important that you do follow that step and you take it uh general advice we have uh the one the energy the five and the eight and also eight of pentacles so there is going to be a lot of talking and a lot of acting <laughs> to say the least like sometimes it will seem like it's the hardest thing that you would do like maybe the situation isn't as hard but people are making it hard right there are always difficult people that we may that you know come to come on our path and it's going to be important for you to maneuver around it so that you don't jeopardize your own values and goals but also you don't have to kind of bulldoze through those people, right? Because, I mean, they do have their opinion, they do have their truth, right? So it's not about just kind of like ignoring them or pushing them aside. It's more about um, working through it, right? Having that important or that uncomfortable conversation, making sure they understand what do you mean, uh, what are you doing? What goals are you trying to achieve right and as that clarity comes in they will naturally be soothed and it will be much easier to get to the common denominator and move forward to that big goal so a lot of different themes and choices for you here but i would say that the most important one is the one where you're supposed to listen to your intuition right and trust yourself this is going to be super important in any and every aspect of your life whether it's personal or professional the more you start to trust yourself the more that justice is going to be bringing back clarity and the kind of like karmic rebalancing right because it's one of those 
one of the meanings of it essentially right as it just as suggests the word itself that um you know if you've put in honest effort and you've been following the alignment from the universe that will come back to you tenfold whether it's love or abundance or health or the lifestyle that you've always wanted or anything else that you've been praying for planning for and you know taking steps towards i hope this was useful for you guys i'm gonna leave it here thank you so much for joining today please check out other videos don't forget to like share and subscribe share and subscribe to this one to my channel um if you like what i'm doing and also check out my website for uh booking a personal reading and until next time